How to work out when you're overworked at work. Start sitting at your desk. Take a little stretch. One side, now the other. Move your head up, now down. Now scream into the void because you just found out you have to stay late for the fifth time this week. Overworked, underpaid, stressed out. That's most people nowadays. We're a nation of overworked, sleep deprived people. And you're probably trying to take a break from work by watching this video right now. Which, by the way, thanks. Your procrastination is appreciated. Work has become a larger and larger drain on our energies, making us less healthy, more stressed, and turning fitness into a luxury item. When I hear that someone had the time to work out, I'm like, okay, I get it, you're rich. The average American works 7.8% more hours today than they did in 1979, and they sleep less than they did in the 1940s. Maintaining a healthy work-life balance sometimes feels like this. Not only does being overworked mean you have less time to spend exercising, being overworked actually causes negative effects on the body. People that regularly work overtime are more likely to gain weight, fall ill, and get injured on the job. So you're tired, sick, weak, hurt, and you're supposed to bench press after all of that. That's not a healthy life. That's a dystopian game show. Get me out of here, you guys! Hang on, I'm coming! Ultimate Injured Warrior. Everyone plays, no one wins. Not only is this unhealthy, it's unproductive. Employee output falls sharply after 55 hours. And someone who puts in 70 hours produces nothing more with those extra 15 hours. Working 15 hours more and getting nothing done. That means if you've already worked 55 hours this week, you're not actually procrastinating by watching this video. It literally makes no difference. And again, thanks. There are some people with insane schedules and very little sleep that do get stuff done. There's The Rock, Mark Wahlberg. I mean, you have to see Marky Mark's insane schedule. 2.30 a.m., wake up. 2.45 a.m., prayer time. 3.15 a.m., breakfast. 3.40 to 5.15 a.m., workout. 5.30 a.m., post-workout. 6 a.m., shower. 7.30, golf. 8 a.m., snack. 9.30, cryo, chamber, recovery. 10.30 a.m., snack. 11 a.m., family time, meetings, work call. 2 p.m., meetings, work call. 3, pick up kids at school. 3.30, snack. 4, workout number two. 5, shower. 5.30, dinner slash family time. 7.30, bedtime. You know, what a regular person does every day. The thing is, they're action movie stars. They're literally paid to be huge buff guys. So Mark Wahlberg can save Boston for a fourth time or so The Rock can be faster and more furious. If you're a regular person, your boss isn't paying you to have a hot body. And if they are, you should probably report them to HR. I'm just saying. There have been attempts to find ways to be fit despite being overworked. Magazines suggest doing exercises in the office they give you ideas like lunging in between meetings, and there's a million different type of desks. There's standing desk, treadmill desk, biking desk, giant medicine ball desk. I tried to come up with my own work fitness combo. Yeah, no one wanted to buy them. They're lost. I think it's great. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't exercise. It makes you feel better, it produces all those good endorphins, but you shouldn't feel bad if you can't find the time to squeeze fitness in with all the other things you have to do every single day. And all these solutions of working out at work, having a standing desk, are just band-aid solutions to a much bigger problem of overwork. Plus, lunching in the office in between meetings is weird. Don't do that. You don't need a treadmill desk, you need a vacation and a raise. So what's the solution? You need to fight against overwork. You gotta revolt. You gotta fight back against your shitty boss and your shitty job with your shitty co-workers who keep on eating your food even though you label it. I label it every day and someone keeps taking it. You wanna burn some calories? You gotta seize the means of production by any means necessary. Or start small and just negotiate for some more vacation days. Thank you.